Hello everyone, welcome to this course. We're going to start by learning how to create great facial expressions. So take a piece of paper and a pencil and get ready to follow me. I'm going to draw digitally during this course using my Wacom tablet, but that's not necessary at all. You can absolutely do all of your drawings for this course with pencil and paper. So we're going to start by drawing some circles. These will be heads for a very simple character that we're going to do on this exercise. Then we're going to add eyes. You can do either entire eyeballs, which are more expressive, or just circles, which are much simpler. Then we'll add the eyebrows. These are very important to define facial expressions. So even if you're going for simple stick figure characters, be sure to always give them eyebrows. It will be a world of difference if you do. And finally, we'll add the mouth. This is the bare minimum you need to create an expressive character. You can get away without noses or ears or even hair, but if you don't have any of these elements, your character will look inexpressive and lifeless. So if you don't know how to draw, this is all you need to know. So. Let's play around with the expressions. Let's start with just the eyebrows. As you can see, they are very expressive. You can create a wide range of emotions by changing the position and angle of the eyebrows. Also, you can have asymmetrical expressions, meaning each eyebrow is going to do a different thing than the other one. This is crucial to create more complex expressions. Then we got the eyelids. Have in mind that we have two eyelids, the top one and the bottom one. There isn't really a lot that eyelids can do. The top eyelids can drop, while the bottom eyelids can rise a little bit. And we can also have, of course, both closed at the same time. Eyelids aren't as versatile as eyebrows, but if you combine both, you get a very wide range of expressions with these two elements alone. Look at all these different faces and how different an expression can be from another by just changing a small detail. Finally, we're going to add the mouth. The mouth is very versatile. It can do a lot of different things. So feel free to experiment with this one. You can have a lot of different options. The possibilities are endless, so be sure to practice. Now, this is going to get really interesting. Let's combine all the elements and see what we can do. There are literally thousands of combinations you can do. So be sure to experiment and don't settle with a bland generic expression. Play around with this and have fun doing weird custom expressions. You'll be amazed at what you can do with only these three elements. Try filling an entire page or several pages with different expressions and be sure to practice a lot. And once you feel you're ready, move on to the next video. We'll be designing our character there, so get ready to draw some more.